Welcome to Interview Me, where I interview her, or in this case her. She's the second time guest, and we're filming this one video, like, right next to the other one. So I'll have something to upload, just in case I don't see anybody for, like, a month and a half. Which happens since I live a forever alone. And, like, if you see this video posted, like, a week after the last one, it's not that we didn't change our clothes for a week. It's because we didn't change our clothes for five minutes. <laughs> I don't change my clothes for a week, anyways. But what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god. I mean, I've been, I wore these pajamas in the other videos. I guess. I bet you did. Kay. Anyway, let's go on. Our first thing that we're going to talk about is Britney Spears' new single, Criminal, where she sings, Mama, I'm in love with a criminal. Judas, what? Jura, Jura. Did we mention that in the last video? We really did. Anyways, on, and right. in the video, she's carrying a gun because she's in love with a criminal and she's going with him to like rob a store. And everyone's all up in a fuss about how Britney Spears shouldn't carry a gun. She is glorifying gang violence. Glorifying gang violence. I'm like, okay, because that reminds me of Eminem. It does. What about Eminem? <laughs> Like, people always say how his his songs, you know, promote violence and stuff. And, like, there's a song on the radio, I'm sure... He does tell you to catch someone on fire. Well, in Guilty Conscience, he tells you to, you know, shoot the girl and then shoot the guy and then cut her neck and cut her head off and sling it. Anyway! Children there's viewers! Song, there's this song on the radio called Not Afraid. That's by Eminem off of his we new album, Emergency, which has been out for like a year now. No, it's not called emergency. It's called recovery. Oh God! But it's like the emergency. You know, an emergency. It's the white plus sign inside the red. Yeah. That Ameri means emergency, Ameri okay? Anyway, um, but the song is called "Not Afraid," and in it he says "click clack plow," and like when he says "plow," there's a gunshot in the background. They bleep that whole part out on the radio, like all of it. There's just empty space. I think it's a little because ridiculous. Because of it's a gun. Like, they did that in another song where they bleeped out, like, the name of a gun, and I'm like, okay, you can't just, like, like guns don't songs. exist. I There's mean, several songs you can't where they make just, it like, like that. I mean, guns exist, and, and I will do exist. with my, what does that sound like? I don't even it know. doesn't sound like I will shoot you with my gun. It sounds like I will do with, with my, what? That sounds so much worse it than does, what it actually it is. It does sound so much worse. Come on now. But... The they censorship say, is getting a little bit ridiculous. But they say that she's glorifying gang violence, and, you know, if I see Britney Spears, like, holding up a convenience store, I'm not going to be like, Britney Spears robs convenience stores. That's what I should do. Your Maybe. dad works at one. Maybe. I'm, I might. Sometimes. Because Britney Spears... He has, like, like, six jobs or something. Crazy. Anyway. Your dad has a lot of jobs. <laughs> he does. He makes that money. But I think it's a little ridiculous. Like, in her video for Every Time, the original premise was that she... Um, was supposed to commit suicide in the end, but like people were like, "Well, that's ridiculous." Cause Russian roulette by Rihanna. That video is the, about Russian roulette. Not this it's not a, a metaphor. This was a different time. It is not a metaphor. It was only a few years ago. But they are sitting at a time. table with a gun. Are they gonna like put a blur over the gun in the video? I don't think so. Doubt it. But um, they were like, "Well, Britney Spears, you shouldn't do that. You're glorifying suicide just because she commits suicide doesn't mean she's glorifying it. It's not like, hey, go out and kill yourself." She's not saying that. No. We're going to go on to our next subject, which is about the presidential elections that will come up next year. And different people are running. Herman Cain, Michelle Bachman. I really don't know any of the Democratic nominees. I know Mitt Romney. I don't <laughs> know if he's a Democrat. These people, they President remind Obama's me of the names. President Obama's running again. They remind me of the names of last year. They do. Herman Cain. Herman Cain. <laughs> Herman Cain. Not her... McCain. Herman Cain. I think I'll vote. That is McCain. I think I'll vote for Herman Cain because In he's, disguise. he has a lot. He has blackface on. Y'all remember in the 50s acting where they put on the, the white people put on the blackface to try and be funny? I don't remember that. That is what this Herman Cain McCain is doing. It's conspiracy. I didn't want to vote for, her, for Herman Cain. See what I'm doing? For John McCain because I was afraid he was going to die because he's really old and I figured he was like he's going to die like two months <laughs> in the office. Anyways, I but was... But then Sarah Palin would have been our president. Vote for John McCain. Well, I do like Sarah Palin. She's, I love Sarah, I mean, Sarah she's, Palin. She's, she's a little ditzy, but I mean, she, you know, I think she would do right by us. And She reminds me of Liz Lemon on 30 Rock. Well, because um, Liz Lemon plays her, doesn't she? She did a thing. It's not Liz Lemon. Tina Fey. We love oh, you, Tina Fey. Yay. She looks well, I'd like love Sarah to have Payne. on this show one day. But. That'd be amazing. If she's watching this right now, we loved you. Come to me. 
This video is too long. It really is. It's like 10,000 minutes. Hunter McCain, I want him to win because he said a quote. He was like, if my parents wanted the Cadillac, they just bought a Cadillac. They didn't expect anyone to steal it from them. Steal it from... Steal someone. it for them. From someone else. And I agree with him. Because my dad, he works two jobs and he doesn't expect anyone to give him anything. You know what? We should definitely chop this video in half. Put the political one into a new video. Do the criminal, the guns and all that Mama, in the first I'm video. I'm in love with a criminal. Stripper. I'm in love with a stripper. Give me, give me, give me, give me more. <laughs> We're going to go and I hope you enjoyed this fourth episode of Interview Me. I think this well, is the fourth Well, I interview episode. you or this case her. Anyways, we're going to go now to Morocco. Down on Morocco. Adios, amigos. <laughs>